In the near future, there will be many incredible drones which will venture into the unknown and expand our understanding of the cosmos. So let's take a look at some of the leading projects which are being built for tomorrow. At number 5, the Asteroid Prospector Flyer. Since there are countless places to go to outside of Earth, we have to come up with a craft that can adapt to extreme conditions. Meet the Prospector, a vehicle which is already being tested for future off-world use. Several different configurations exist, but my favorite one is the High Pressure Thruster variant, which can explore asteroids and even our own moon. One of the goals of this thruster variant would be to explore lava tubes and find an ominous lurking giant worm monster. But actually, it would look for suitable habitats for astronauts. Lava tubes tend to be ideal shelters, since they reduce radiation and protect from other nasty things falling from space. Ultimately, the flyer will be quite valuable, and we will likely see it exploring in the next decade. At number 4, the Great Van Platform. Venus has some pretty extreme conditions for flying and roaming around. But somewhere around 45 miles elevation, its atmosphere is quite similar to Earth's. The Venus Atmosphere Maneuverable Platform is being designed right now. It's going to tackle this alien environment, and it may even launch within 10 years. It will be a semi-buoyant, solar-powered aircraft, which will be deployed from an orbital spacecraft, possibly from the Venera D in 2026. It will fly for approximately one year, and it will carry 100 pounds of instruments thanks to its buoyant hybrid design. I would just personally like to see a video stream of flight through this mysterious planet, but this will nevertheless be a very interesting mission to look forward to. At number 3, the Great Dragonfly. The next vehicle we take a look at will travel a great distance and land within Saturn's reach, which is also its largest moon, Titan. Titan may not seem much with its oceans of liquid methane and ethane, but these conditions could support organic compounds and even life itself. The Dragonfly is essentially a rotorcraft which will explore this mysterious planet. It is basically an octocopter, and it would make use of a thermoelectric generator for power. This would allow it to recharge at night, and theoretically it could cover a range of 100 miles in its two-year mission. Its main objectives would be to test surface materials, study atmospheric conditions, and even map out geological futures. This will probably be one of the toughest environments to fly in, but the planet could hold some of the secret keys to life, and that is definitely worth exploring. At number 2, and it's also one of my favorites, the Tunnel Bot. The biggest planet in the solar system also holds one of the most amazing moons as well. Europa is one of the best candidates for holding life. Beneath its 15 mile ice layer is a vast ocean, which could be filled with weird ET swimming creatures. But in reality, we just do not know yet what's inside this Pandora's box. Now, it's going to be really difficult to reach inside this moon. But one method we can use is to build a nuclear powered boring machine. It will basically heat up the ice as it goes through this thick ice layer, and it will use a string of repeaters to communicate back to Earth. Once it hits the ocean, it would deploy a flotation device and lock itself into place. Keep in mind that this is only a concept for now. But nevertheless, NASA is working on a buoyant rover, which is already in its prototype phase. This bot has wheels, and it rolls along the underside of an ice layer. It's outfitted with a bunch of sensors and instruments, and it can dive to over 700 feet. That's pretty impressive, and it will even be used near one of Earth's poles in the future. The rover may even lead to future developments to explore places like Europa. So let's just hope that there is continued research in this area, and that we can eventually reach this ice planet. At number 1, the JPL Mars Helicopter. This should be one of the first off-world flying drones, and it's also going to be on the Red Planet. It will be launched with a Land Rover in 2020 and it will be a tech demonstrator for future Mars missions. Now, since Mars magnetic fields are a bit of a mess, it will not even use a compass for navigation. Instead, it will use a solar tracker along with a visual system to fly around. Another challenge is that the Martian atmosphere is 1% the density of Earth's, so it's kind of like flying around at 100,000 feet high. And obviously, this requires special testing along with tweaked props, which perform at this level. Now, this thing does have solar panels to recharge its batteries, but it's not going to be flying around too much. And basically, like I said, it's just more of a test bed for future missions. But nevertheless, this will be one of the greatest missions to look forward to. And it's just right around the corner in 2021. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.